we're here at our San Jose, California lab and manufacturing facility, where we do three main things. First is powertrain R&D, second is integrated lab testing, and then third is aircraft final assembly. This is where we're building our initial fleet of test aircraft. Let's start in the battery pilot line and see how we're ramping up manufacturing in there. Welcome to the uh, battery pilot line. The first phase we built using a manual production line. In parallel to that, we've installed our pilot line. The pilot line will give us the capability of producing about four battery packs per day. Hey, Alex, good to see you. How's it going? What's going on, Alex? Hello. Great progress in here. Thank you. So what we're building here is Larcher's battery packs. Um, these battery packs will support the uh, first man flight that we'll be doing towards the end of this year. After we're done building these here, we're gonna take them over to our development lab over there where we can do full environmental testing, including shock and vibe, thermal profiles, mission profiles, et cetera, et cetera. As you can see by walking around, there's a lot of different process technologies that we've adopted from the automotive industry. So on the cell test and load side, you can see the use of scare robots and six axis robots. On the potting dispense side, you can see uh, the use of uh, advanced dispensing systems, laser cleaning, laser welding, very similar, where we're using uh, industry proven technologies and just adapting them to the EV tall space. Here's the engine lab. We we're really focused on supporting the engineering team to R&D through their new designs. So in this lab, we also not only build inverters, we build rotor assemblies, we build stator assemblies, we also do the final integration of the entire engine. But this is a very good example of how we prove out that the inverter is capable of doing what it's supposed to do before we put it on an engine. We also have an entire lab in here where we test the finished assemblies of the engines. So this is a engine dynos. We build them in-house to save money and time. We can insert the engines in here. We couple them up just like they were gonna be tied to propellers. And then we also can rotate these engines through their full tilting operations based on tilters or lifters that we build inside of here. Very impressive to have these kind of capabilities in-house. Now we'll have 10 engines at a time we can be testing to be able to scale and ramp up production. So we've seen some of the component assembly, now we're in final assembly. Uh, tell us what are you working on? Yeah, so right now we're, we're prepping the fuselage uh, with standoffs and things to put in our avionics. We'll also start routing the wiring harnesses and getting this uh, fuselage fully integrated in so that we can start accepting a wing and, and going forward with the build. We're really focused on scaling manufacturing. So what we're using is our tier one, tier two suppliers that are already in the market, already have some scaled manufacturing. And then here we're just focused on doing the final assembly and integration of the aircraft. We can integrate an aircraft in about two weeks on the floor here. As we scale on to Georgia, we're really gonna ramp up to the 650 aircraft a year with that square footage in the Georgia facility. We're currently standing in our Ironbird test facility. For us, it is our closest representation of the aircraft prior to flying. So we have all of the real components of the aircraft integrated the way that they would be, which allows us to execute the testing end-to-end -end of all of those integrated systems. So you can see here, we have a full representation of the actual cockpit. This allows us to do the pilot in the loop testing. As you see, we have the real avionics system, all of the real pilot controls. This allows us to execute a flight as the pilot would on the actual aircraft and test the responses of things like the avionics system, the flight control system, and all of the other corresponding systems that support a flight of the pilot. And then so we can inject failures in the hardware here and see how the whole system responds, right? Absolutely. That's one of the primary focuses of this lab or these integrated labs. This is the brains of the aircraft. Um, as you can see, we have all of the real hardware components from all of our partner suppliers, from the low voltage systems to the flight control systems. And, and it gives us a full range of exercise of the extent and the functionality and performance of these integrated systems. So this is our conformal eVTOL requirements testing lab. This lab was designed to support a series of testing called the functional hazard assessment. So this lab is built to the exact same specifications of the real aircraft. So the idea is that when the pilot sits down, we can actually make sure that everything that they're seeing and everything they're interacting with is gonna be exactly like the airplane. One of the things we're looking for is, does the pilot have the correct amount of visibility? Does the pilot have the same cues as they would on the actual aircraft and can respond in the same way that they would expect to? So how does this lab support the FAA certification effort? We'll be working with the FAA to have them come out and actually sit down, bring their pilots in, 
and run through the functional hazard assessment. They'll also bring their human factors engineers out and do their own independent analysis to make sure it matches up with what we've done. We're doing some incredible things here at our manufacturing facility, and it's all thanks to the great team we have here at Archer. As we make our vision a reality, one aircraft at a time.